Greetings and welcome to Artifact Seeker. I'm Catherine of Sky, and this is a vampire survivors style game or genre game that is big. Oh my god, it's almost over the top. And I know that the main thing people want to know is why is this different from other uh, survivors types games? And I'm going to show you that. First thing, first thing. So um, we have a little village where you can do various things. A lot of them involve like upgrading your stuff. Uh, yeah, research new knowledge and strengthen character abilities. These are things like dodge limit, dash distance, endurance, uh, pickup range, that kind of stuff. Now I've already spent a lot of money in here or these uh, soul shards, I think they're called. So I've already spent a lot of that in here. My goodness, the, the music on this particular screen has gotten very loud. I don't know why. Let's turn that down a bit. Um, so anyway, we also have the Artifact Vault, which I believe we can, uh, we can, um, add a thing. I'm not sure how actually how to add an artifact. There's a way to add one, and if you find it, it's, uh, <laughs> you can press, or, or add KOS, and we'll, you'll get a very cool little artifact. And I, I don't know, oh, copy and paste artifact code. Here we go. Outer Artifact. I think that's a bad translation, but it should be here. K KOS. Yes! Cat Teaser Wand! Yo! <laughs> a toy that grows alongside Catherine. <laughs> Such a, it's a very weird text, but yeah, this is our Cat Teaser Wand. Um, so you get prices um, in the shop or in the game, minus 10%. Affix referral, plus 5. That's huge. Dodge, yeah, it's good. A lot of these do have negatives uh, with them. So anyway, then you get... These usually are three random affixes. So anyway, that's awesome. Yay, we got the cat teaser wand. Cool. Um, so yeah, that's what we, we can do. Um, and then there's other stuff here. Achievements and missions. Uh, seek the truth of the world through endless battles. We have blacksmith shop. Forge new weapons. Um, with this, yeah, you can, uh, you can actually unlock different weapons for your characters here. Um, so here, yeah, you can unlock with these soul shards here as well. So there's a lot of places to spend your stuff. Uh, treasure trove of knowledge. This is like, you know, how the games works. We have black market, sell contraband after upgrading. So these are again, kind of stuff that you can use while you're in the game. So, um, you know, different kinds of potions, scrolls, all kinds of stuff, all kinds of stuff. So anyway, the castle uh, is where the battle map is. And we have one character currently available. Now there are others, but you can, so here you go to the tavern to unlock this character, tavern, tavern, tavern. I need to unlock some in the tavern, obviously. But um, so th this game is massive and we're gonna have to go through a round so that I can show you the other things that are quite different from Vampire Survivors. Um, first of all, we do have a weapon, then we have skills, and then we can pick up artifacts. So. The, uh, we don't have much choice right now in the weapons, but you need to keep in mind that the weapons, there, there are many different like synergies in this game, including like elemental things, like we have Blade of Blood Fury. Um, so this is going to uh, get bigger damage and stuff when you have blood magic synergies with artifacts and things like that, as I'll show you. So, all right, we have five divinity. That means we can pick artifacts that have up to five. So we can actually, we should pick the, well, we actually have some two and threes if we want to. The cat teaser wand, how much is that one? That's five. So we can only take one thing if we take the cat teaser wand. Um, I feel like maybe taking something else might be better. Strength is generally good. Crit rate is also good. Um, this, see, this one has minus blood skill power, but special skill damage is pretty good. I'll take that one, I think. Let's see, what else can we take for one? Strength plus four, intelligence plus four. Uh, max HP is okay, too. Um, I think, though, that I'd rather have... Let's see, probably strength or intelligence, because intelligence boosts um, magic spells, and most of our things are going to be magic. So maybe we should actually change this one into int. Here's a one here, int plus 16, gold bonus plus 8. 
Do we have another int one? Ooh, move speed. That's tasty. Uh, poison skill power. Strength int. Oh, this is strength and int. That that could be really good. Let's take this one. That's a better one for us right now. Because I don't know what we're going to go with right now. I have played quite a few rounds of this game. And it's I haven't got all of the things memorized yet but we're but i i know enough to show you what is going on here so we have quite a few different things as you see it's a slay the spire style map that's also quite different from other survivors type games um except we did have that um gnome game the other day that was quite funny where it had that kind of a map um all right so we have events lots of events and we have some treasures we've got some elites going on here uh those are pretty pretty okay to fight I don't mind. They're pretty good. So we start. Let's start up here. I tend to start at the beginning of the map at the top, um, and just do the thing, you know. So pay attention to these little markers here because you get these different kinds of uh, bonuses, right? And then they stay. They start again. A countdown, right? Okay. We need to. Okay. We can kill stuff like this. All right. Good. Good. Uh, soul gem. Yay. Mm -hmm. Can you kill things? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we leveled up, right? So now we're starting to choose our skills. Now what you need to pay attention to here is the synergies at the bottom. Uh, right now it's not showing us uh, really what they have, but it does show us what we own. So we have magic synergy, blood, shatter, physics. All right, so we want to kind of try to go with that or not go with that it just depends i really there's one that i really love which is the fireballs i feel like it's way op so we could get a fire one to go with that so meteor would also benefit if we get fire magic um i don't like any of the venomous stuff the poison stuff that feels like very underpowered now you can also see at the top this one is a strength synergy where this this one is an int synergy as you see uh, and you can see the um, the various levels of damage and stuff uh, on the right-hand side there of this holy skill times two. You get this times three. That that's the star rating, and then you can get the super-powered ones as well. So let's see. Countless lightsabers fell from the sky like rain. Base damage of 60, but meteor has a base damage of 225. Um, I'm thinking that could be good. Actually, Freezing Blast sounds good. I don't think I've ever done this one. Good base damage. Let's take that for now. Okay, that looks powerful. Yo. All right. So now another one. We can get Frost Blast level 2, or we can get something else. Um, I want to... Let's get Frost Blast. Let's just kind of boost this up. That's nice. All right. And then... Okay, we are getting some of those we could get an ice arrow fire arrows imbued with ice element forward with slowing effect so this kind of goes in front of us let's try that Ooh, spin oh i should have gotten that one you can also dash across the screen that's that's a good one uh right now we have new things crescent strike uh we already have that over here as we see use sound waves to damage enemies within circular range and then knock them back i've had that before and i couldn't tell what it was actually sometimes it's really difficult to see what you're doing or what's happening i don't know why but it's it's, it's busy um okay so meteors piercing trap i don't really like any of these options i guess we can take meteor uh but do not fear you can replace them you can replace them with other skills if you want another skill better that's okay. Uh, let's take Reign of Lightsaber. Let's see what that... Oh, wow. Okay. That's what that is. Yes, we'll take that for sure. Nice. Now, we also have a special skill that's in the lower right-hand corner. I always forget to use this, but we do actually have it. It's called Phantom Bats on this character. So here we can see... Here's the main screen that I wanted to get to. Here we have Owned Synergy. How many Blood, Frost, Annihilate, and Magic. Um, we can see our artifacts at the top, which we we pick these two, and we also have our Blade of Blood Fury, that is our uh, our starting weapon. Now we have our skills over here. Then we have our character information over here. There is so much stuff. Usually this scrolls because there's so much stuff here. We can see our soul shards and the money we have. So let's continue. And then we usually get a chance to buy an artifact. So we can kind of see what these things have. Minion attack, cooldown. Um, I don't know what a minion is. I don't think we have any minions. 
So I don't really want to buy this one. Um, let's buy the magic potion because we have, I think these are all int ones. No, that, that one is a strength one. You can see that under attack power, that tiny little uh, orange symbol, that's like the arm doing a, doing a strengthy curl thing. Uh, the other one is, is blue. The magic is blue. So magic, uh, arm, magic, magic. Let's go magic. Let's just buy this one. And then let's get out of there. Okay, and then we have another choice. I think we'll go... Oh, there's some enemies down here. I'd rather have enemies because enemies give us a lot of chance. The fortune teller. On the distant mountain slope, there is a purple tent that you notice has been engulfed in black shadows as if the night sky around the tent has been stained even darker. You see a young fortune teller sitting in a tent with her dark hair dancing wildly in the night wind as though she has already been swallowed up by the darkness. Her gaze towards you is heavy and sinister as if there's an indescribable force tearing at your heart. In front of her, a silver crystal ball emits a worn and deadly aura. Suddenly, the fortune teller speaks. Her voice is deep and venomous as if coming from a grave. The one who is controlled by fate. You have sunk into the darkness of the abyss. Your future has been buried in boundless fear, but only by coming out of your deepest darkness can you see your true self. Do you want to explore yourself in this dazzling night sky? Uh, I guess we have luck, so we can believe in our good luck. The fortune teller extended her finger and lightly touched the crystal ball, closing her eyes and seemingly pondering something. In this quiet space, only her breathing and the sound of shattering echoes in the air. Her thoughts were entangled in the deepest mysteries of the universe, embracing unknown forces and being drawn into the swirling, incomprehensible grip of the universe's black hole. In this endless void, the fortune teller slowly gained some kind of information, seeing a blurry image in the crystal ball. The fortune teller suddenly opened her eyes, looked up at you, and slowly revealed the results of her divination. I saw a giant eagle soaring over this gloomy forest, its eyes shining with a cold gleam. The hunters hiding in the forest shot a poisoned arrow at it, and the arrow pierced the eagle's body, covering its feathers with blood. The falling eagle let out a sharp scream. Oh, wow. Okay, that hurt. Just as you walked a short distance, your foot suddenly kicked against a piece of rock. Your toes were flattened by the impact. Dang it. Okay, but we can upgrade stuff. Poison rainfall. Um, eh, I don't know. Cause area damage. I'm kind of... Let's go with Frost Blast instead. All right, so we're, I want to go here. Normal fight. Seems good. Let's go. Let's look for our bonus. Always got to get a bonus. You could sometimes get two or three bonuses depending on how long stuff goes. Frozen Aurora. That's interesting. Uh, cast an Icy Aura Blast. However, it has a very low base damage. I'm kind of like, eh, no. This one also has a low base damage. Uh, Crescent Strike. Oh, no, this is plus 23. Um, I don't know what Crescent... I think the Crescent Strike is just the regular... Yeah, that, that sort of, like, swirly thing. Got a Soul Gem. That's nice. Experience Pile. Magnet. Yay. I seem to be killing stuff wherever I go. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. I like these... I like this Ice Blast thing. Holy crap, that's nice. That's big. Also, another feature of this game that you don't find in others is that... There's an end, it's called scavenge, and that's at the end of the level. All the stuff that you don't pick up can have a chance to be scavenged, and that's our chance. It's 50%. We get 50% of the stuff. Oh, <gasps> spinning fireballs! Yes! This is what we want. This is our winning strategy. Now, it doesn't look impressive initially, but later, later, friends, it will be fantastic. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Dude, dude, Arr. Let's go and get that, whatever that is. That's an experience pile. All right, kill stuff, keep killing stuff, all the things, all the stuff. Let's go. Hey there. Let's pick up that potion. Energy plus 50%, okay. All right, and we win, hooray! There's our 
as you see, scavenging. We get both gold and XP from that. Continue. So we get a we get a chance to buy another artifact, which is nice. So armor piercing is nice. Scavenge nice. Uh, that's actually useful. Let's buy this and the armor. Oh, we can't afford it. Oh no. Sad times, man. Sad times. I do like to have armor piercing. The forbidden knowledge. You're walking on a barren land when suddenly you hear a low moaning sound and a strange power drills into your body. You feel yourself being controlled by an invisible force filled with an irresistible desire. A traveler p appears in front of you wearing a black hood that obscures his face, but you can see several tentacles extending from under the hood, shimmering with a moldy and dim color. The traveler fixed his gaze on you as if seeing something from within you. He made an unusual breathing sound and moaned. Do you want to know? What do you mean? You feel confused by the traveler's question. The truth. The traveler waits silently for your response. Yes, let's accept the knowledge. A deluge of knowledge crashed upon your mind like a fierce storm. You felt as though you were immersed in a magnificent library with shelves and scrolls adorning every corner. Rain of lightsaber up, HP minus. You began to experience symptoms of headaches, dizziness, and lack of concentration. It seemed your brain's capacity had reached its threshold, unable to effectively absorb and process new information. I don't think we have the int. Oh, okay. Oh, we got more. We did get it. Uh, it was blue. I don't understand that. But after a moment, you came to your senses of, of being pulled back from a dream to reality. You feel your body stiffening and the traveler is nowhere to be seen. And those knowledge improve your control of your skills. All right, cool. So, and then we get another upgrade bonus. So we've got two upgrades and a thing. So this is great. Let's take Frost Blast. That's nice. So what else? Flame Trail, Meteor, Crescent Strike, Reaper's Call. Uh, cause huge damage to random targets within range. Why not? Let's try this one. And we can replace something we don't want. I'm thinking Ice Arrow feels very meh to me. We can either go with an Elite or Regular Enemy Fight. Let's go with the... Uh, elite. So we get two Elites here, two Elites here. It doesn't really matter. Though, I would rather have the Enemies and then two Elites because... Uh, I'm not, I'm not actually a big fan of the events. They're, they're, they're storytelling, but I, I prefer to just fight stuff out, man. I just kind of enjoy that. So let's see. Let's go and have more events. There we go. Thank you very much. Experience pile. Hooray. Let's go. Get combos. Got all kinds of things. There's some money on the ground. Hooray. Also, if you get artifacts, you can also sell them if you're not interested in them. That's another thing that is possible in this game. Take that health potion. There's a lot of health potions around, which is useful. Ooh. Ooh. That sounds interesting. Spinning fireballs, though. Yo. Let's take this. We really want to level that up. Spinning fireballs for the win, man. They are super good. Okay. It's not doing much right now. Let's get the, our bats. This is our phantom bat uh, thing. It's very useful, as you see. <laughs> Kind of can get you out of some trouble, for sure, if you're, you know, being surrounded and all that kind of stuff. I could definitely do with another upgrade. Um, Crescent Strike, maybe? Reaper's Call. Let's go Reaper's Call. I'm not a, I don't actually know what Reaper's Call is doing uh, at the moment. Is it those slightly purple things, or is that that? Might be the big thing that takes forever. Let's see. It's now proccing almost. There. Oh, it's big. Okay, but it has like a million year cooldown, it feels like. Skill duration, three seconds. Does it tell us? Cooldown, 7.52 seconds. So I think that's too long. I want to replace that, I think. All right, let's see what we got here. Leather Diary, XP bonus, max HP, armor piercing, and a... These are random attributes that you get eventually. So let's buy this. Luck plus two. Cool. Okay, we'll take that. XP bonus. Let's buy that too. And another three. Cool, that's a nine. That's beautiful. All right, let's get out of here. And let's go elite. I like elites. Those are fun. Okay, so we have two different things here. We've got a... Okay, free skill thingy. Skill cooldown minus 50%. That's kind of crazy great. So now we sacrifice enemies in this field in order to gain the treasure that is locked in here. 
Um, usually there's like a pre-boss enemy, which looks like that one. Uh, I mean, that one is the one we have right now. Um, and then you get the big boss later, but that might be the one. All right, let's take spinning fireballs. I love them. They are going to get better. Uh, someday, someday, they seem like they're not getting better right now. But that's okay. And it looks like we're, we take damage sometimes, but it doesn't seem like it's affecting us very much. Okay, there we go. Healing potion. Oh, okay, okay. Sometimes it's hard to see yourself on the edge of the map like this, but that's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna try here. I want to kind of get out of the, let's get out of the area. Let's just kind of like move people around a bit. Let's go. Thank you. Okay, good, good. Experience pile. Yay. And we can go back down here. They have another bonus for us, which is handy. So yeah, you get these bonuses in the lower right, and usually they last quite a while. Actually, they can last through several battles. Sometimes you see them over here as well. We got our damage plus 105%. That's fantastic. Uh, I'm going to go spinning fireballs, I think. Burning pool that damages enemies within them. Um, we don't have anything that like vibes with that, though. So anyway, this game, as you see, has like many synergies and many different mechanics in play. It's a bit crazy, to be honest. Uh, a bit crazy. Divine Light. Uh, multiple holy light attacks in the surrounding area. I'm not a fan of the Reaper's Call. It's just way too long of a cooldown. Now, what I wish is I wish that we could see the cooldown on the card here because you can only see it when it's in your thing here. I'm actually going to take a screenshot and send this to the dev and say, hey, can we please see them on the card? Because it would be useful. I'm thinking Divine Light to replace Reaper's Call. Confirm. Or maybe something else later. I don't know. We got an artifact from this, though. And usually you get one with an elite. So this is good. And also, I love that there's like tooltips on everything. This is so cool. So we have these synergies here. Poison, summon skill power, luck and armor. I think luck and armor is basically what we can get here. Um, yeah. Because we don't have puncture skill damage. We don't have poison. We don't have any summoning. We'll take this. And if you have literally nothing that you want, you can sell them. So these are also artifacts that we got. So we could choose one of them, by the way. Choose one. Strength four. Uh, do we have... How many strength ones do we have? We have all int except one. Crescent strike is at one. So that's 164. Um, I think we'll take loot range. Eh. We have some minuses to loot range with the other artifacts, I think. Where, what are we at now? Loot range. Um... Where? Hello? Loot range, where you be? I'm trying to look for it. Skill CD, dodge limit, crit rate, crit damage, scavenge. Uh, where did it go? Loot range. It's not regular range. That's spell range, by the way. I apparently just don't see it. It must be here somewhere. Ah, here we go. Maybe it's here. Loot range, plus 4%. I thought we had several minuses, so I was kind of confused by this. All right, here we get to buy the artifact as, you know, per thing. Move speed. Ah, uh, that sounds good to me. Ooh, armor. Oh, that looks good. But I don't want the minus move speed. I want more move speed, not less. All right, let's go around. Uh, so let's go to the next thing. Let's take another elite. All right, here we go. We get a lot of treasures from, for killing the elites. Now, there's also these kind of crazy things where you have these altars you have to hang around for a while, and then you get the prize, and then you kind of can get out of here. But always pick up your thing first, which I forgot to do. Okay, look at our, look at our fireballs. They're doing some damage now. That is good. That is really good. Be careful and watch for these traps. They are quite, quite damagey. Um... They're quite damaging. All right, let's see if we can kill any of these things. And like a lot of MMOs, these have very specific, um, what do you call these? Mm -hmm. Mechanics, boss mechanics, uh, where they tell you where they're going to hit you. So do make sure that you pay attention. They are serious. This is serious business, man. All right, I really want this health potion. Thank you. Thank you. All right. See, there's, there's also traps on the ground. We want to kill some of these enemies that are just making our lives miserable with all of these effects. Good lord. 
Some of them appear to be invincible. Hold on. Grab this. Alright, that's good. That's good at least. Okay, we got another prize here. Dodge. Range. I'm not sure what, what one we got there. Which one are we killing? I don't even know. This is kind of confusing. I'm not actually sure which ones are alive. Because some of them look like they're not actually enemies. Okay, let's see. Swift Slash. Quickly swing your weapon for melee physical attack. Um, I'm kind of... No, spinning fireballs, man. Spinning fireballs all the way. Are these enemies? Are these alive? What's alive? I want to see what I can kill here. I think maybe we're just waiting for the timer. I think we're just waiting for the timer. I think we killed what we needed to kill. All right, there we go. Whew. Wow. That took a while. So we don't have any summoning at all. Uh, armor piercing? Sure. We can take that. That This is a nice one. I always I enjoy taking the werewolf fangs. Uh, spell skim, skill damage. Uh, special skill damage. That would be the bats. I'm going to take the the fangs. Let's take the fangs. And then we can buy stuff. No, these are ones that we can pick. Okay. Scavenge. Pharmacist. Pharmacist is interesting. Healing potion and energy potion become more effective based on the percentage there. I think... Actually, the old shield takes good. That's armor. How much armor do we have? We have 20. Yeah, let's take the armor. Why not? Okay, here we go. Let's continue. So now we can buy stuff if we want to. Critical rate, strength. Uh, I'm just going to buy the crit rate one. I think that's enough for me. Okay, so we can either go to this camp or that camp. It really doesn't matter. Uh, you're always going to get a camp before you go. Start right to left, I would say. So the artifact collector shows you what you have. Um, and you can sell these things as well if you want to. The artifact master will be able to sell you new things. This is pretty great. So we can have the uh, SP skill point increase. That's kind of cool. Holy Grail. So we have Holy Skill Power, which I don't think we have anything with Holy Skill Power. We've got some fire and we've got... What are you? You are... Uh, Annihilate and Holy. You can see them kind of light up on the left there. This is Armor Piercing. I kind of like that. I don't really use the special skill damage, so I'm going to buy this. And they're very expensive, these things. So just be careful what, you know, you look at. Now then, after the Artifact Master, well, you always want to go your extra, your bonfire. Uh, we get the Enchanter. This is a cool, cool thing because each of these artifacts, you can reroll stuff. You can reroll not the the main things, but you can reroll the secondaries. So let's reroll the damage here because we don't want that. Hey, plus eight armor. And as you see, they can roll different rarities too. Okay, so here necklace of fangs looks pretty good. You are good. Minion attack CD. We don't even have minions attack. Scavenge plus six. I'll take it. Luck plus two. Knockback bonus plus two. These are these are basic ones. Dash cooldown. Okay, sure. Uh, minion attack. Oh, affixes reroll. Yay! Awesome. So basically, you have a certain number of these rerolls that you can do, and that's it. That's it. Um, and it says remaining seven times. So I could reroll this seven times, but I don't need to at the moment. I think we're actually pretty good. Well, we could reroll this one. Piercing skill power. Okay. But we don't have piercing uh, things. We do have fire, though. Let's get rid of the blood because we don't have blood either. Uh, rage? No. Loot. Oh, and we ran out of money. Oh, that's rough. Okay. We actually had two more times to reroll, but we ran out of money. Anyway, and then we have the skill master, and we can buy skills. I should have actually bought a skill as well, but um, there aren't any that I actually wanted. Okay, so we're good. That's fine. And then the smuggler, uh, you can buy these various things, uh, and this is related to the black market, which is in the town. Um... I feel like I've been talking like a mile a minute here. Uh, there's so much to talk about here. Spinning firewalls, and we now get the super skill. This is fantastic. The super skill is amazing. It's crazy, and it's I love it. I love it. So it starts off slow. This is slow, by the way. And then it gets nuts after a while. I don't know if I have to have super skill times two or what, but it's wild. Okay, yo, yo, yo. There we go. We're killing this thing. So that is not the, the boss. That is like the pre-boss. Okay, now the boss is coming. That is our boss. Hello. How you doing? This is Remus, the Corrupted Wolf King. 
You don't belong in this forest. The forest is different than it used to be. Is it the influence of the artifact? You don't deserve the artifact. See the power of darkness. Okay, well, I'll try. So we have a big boss bar as per usual. This is kind of a normal thing for bosses. Um, if you've ever played any like MMOs and stuff like that. Be careful to avoid his attacks. They are kind of dangerous. But as you see during this thing, we can still uh, level up. We can still level up, level our skills up. I get things going. I think the fireballs have been nerfed because when I played this in my test games, they were like constant fireballs that never stopped. And I don't know if that's because of artifacts I had or if it was changed, but it definitely feels different. Yo, where am I? Oh my god, that hurt. That hurt. Ow, 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 ow. Things are like, I'm not sure why I'm so slow. Um, something happened there. That was interesting. I don't know if I got hit by something or what, but okay, so those are very dangerous. I want to go toward the health potions. There we go. There we go. So let's take Frost Blast. I really would like to level that one up. That's a pretty powerful one. And just kind of keep watching the, uh, the uh, mechanics on the floor because they're kind of important. Kind of important indeed. All right, we're going to keep this guy in our fireball range, hopefully, and hopefully we can just melt him down. Okay, got to keep away from the affixes, though. Okay, that was not great. That was not great. But the swords are kind of aiming for him, which is good. That's nice. Yay. The lightsaber attacks. Okay, let's run away because this is very dangerous. Okay, yes, yes, thank you. Okay. Oh, shoot. I should wait for the attacks to go because sometimes I, I don't wait for that. And it's just not ideal. There's a lot of, like, you have to kind of look at your timing because, you know, he'll follow you with the cone and then he'll stop the cone. Oh, okay, get out of the circle. Out, out, out. Okay, now we're good. Now we're good. So, ow. Okay, don't, don't ow yourself. Just chill. So this is his new uh, phase, obviously, the below whatever, 25% or something. So keep on killing him if you can. We're doing this thing again. Okay, great. Yay, yay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, I forgot to wait for the attack again. Uh, those attacks are kind of weird looking. They're like little blue ball things. Ha ha ha. Good fight. You are very strong. Isn't the artifact here with you? Turn around, mortal. You will find nothing. Okay, well, that wasn't ideal. Okay, so that's what we got. Here's our scavenge. We got a QB thing. Fantastic. Uh, all right. HP, intelligence, intelligence, armor piercing. Kind of like piercing. Let's take the piercing. I should have taken intelligence, though. Uh, okay. Well, let's see what else we get. Damage plus 20%. That's very good. Skull. So these are limit breaks on different things. I have no idea how that works. Um, I've never gotten anything that is... Um, synergistic with what I have. Gallop is kind of cool. Increase movement speed after dash for a few seconds. We have no lightning power at all. I think we take the damage. It's just plain old damage. Boom. 20% damage is good though. Why not? Okay. Let's go. Alright. So we made it to the end of the first map. All right, now we're in the second map. So this, what usually happens in the second map is all these go away, and I'm not sure why they're here, but we'll see what happens here. Scavenge, loot range, strength. Uh, we do have the one strength weapon. Let's just take that for now. Actually, we can take the scavenge as well. We have a little bit of money. Okay, so here we are. Yeah, we still have those. Interesting. Uh, here we have a treasure chest reward. I kind of want to go on a map with a lot of elites on it. Here's one. Here, the top one really has a lot of elites. Yeah, we should go top here. Let's go start here. Start with a normal battle always first. Let's go and look at our options here. Okay, this is sacrifice enemies. I'll go ahead and do that and then check on the other one. Okay, come on. Those fireballs are doing damage, man. Those are really good. Really good. And I think you just need to stand in the circle and anything you kill, even if it's outside counts, which is nice. There's there's another game where it was like you have to damage it inside the circle, and that was more difficult. 
uh, or, and not not really that fun, I have to say, because then you have to like lure stuff in, and it kind of just breaks your uh, whatever it's called, breaks your play style, or whatever. Okay, so here's the thingy. We got range uh, level up here, or range uh, addition. Let's go there. There's a little XP nugget over there. Experience piles. I like it. It comes in piles. Hooray. All right, we got 31% till the next thing. I don't think we're going to reach it before the time limit expires. We should always get these first. Always get those first. And I, I keep forgetting. So we got this potion, but we don't need it. Keep going, keep going. 67%. Oh, ah, maybe, maybe. It's going to give us range. And it does seem to apply to the next map as well. So it's kind of, all right. You know, check it out. 93%. Let's chill out here in case we get it. We did get it before the timer. Nice. Okay, cool. There we go. Lots of experience, lots of gold. So, wow, max HP 200, that's something. Um, I think we'll take this one because of the, the intelligence as well. That was a nice, nice artifact to get. So artifacts are not disappearing. I'm surprised because that was happening when I was playing earlier and I'm, that might have been changed. Okay, uh, we have choices here. We definitely don't want this, even though it's cool, but we don't have anything that uses holy seal power. Um, strength, soul gem bonus. I don't want no soul gem bonus. I want more soul gems, not less. Uh, this is how we uh, make our meta progress uh, level up. We need the soul gems. So XP bonus. Uh, can I re-roll? Oh, you can lock stuff. I didn't even think about locking things. I don't see a reroll on here, so we're just going to escape, I guess. And we need to go upward to get the most elites. We're going to go this way. So there's just a regular fight next. Okay, good, good. Go ahead and kill stuff. Where's our thingy? I don't know what these symbols mean yet, so they could be the wrong thing. Ah, so purple is a... A thing so let's go down and get the other it's probably another one of these kind of uh, sacrifice X enemies or whatever oh here it is no it's just a it's a stay close to to rescue this person who's in a cage so we're trying to open the cage but beware of those traps they do not go away they are hurting you frost blast let's go boom yay all right let's go let's get the money lots of money Money, money. All right, good, good, good. There's another pile up there, but I don't care. I really would like to get the um, these piles of experience. Yay. It's not very much. It's like 111. It feels like it's not really worth it, to be honest. Because um, the experience that we need is... I think it's a lot. I think we need a lot. Because we're just mowing down enemies. And that's a lot of experience to get those, those things going. And it doesn't seem to go up. The experience bonus is, like, fixed. I feel like it should go up. Okay, let's go here. Let's see. We don't really need healing, so I'm not going for healing. Experience pile. Okay, let's go. Come on, kill stuff, kill stuff. There we go. Nice. All right, two seconds left. All right, Master of Fire. Oh, I got a thing, apparently. I didn't even see what that achievement was. Okay, here we go. Luck, enemy respawn, shop refresh. That actually sounds good. Mark of the Werewolf, man. Let's take that. Damage up. Gotta take the damage, man. Always. Always need the damage. Stealth boots, move speed, and dodge. Mmm. That might be pretty good, actually. Luck. Luck is pretty... I think luck could be good as well. Gambler's dice. Luck. What do we have luck for? Like, what is our luck now? Luck, luck. Where is luck? Here it is. 12. Where is 12? I don't know what that even means. Uh, extra reward for luck check-in event. Yeah, those are the events where you can use luck to go. Good luck affects almost all random elements. Ah, that's tempting. Yeah, let's go. Uh, the range sounds pretty good, too. I think I'm going to buy that as well. All right, that's good. And now let's go for this one. OK, 
Okay, there we are. We have one event thing. Oh, that's our. That's just the the altar thing. I don't know what to call those. I guess we can call them altars. Why not? Hello, hello, friends. Hello, magical friends and enemies. Yay! I forgot to check on my bar here. How much? Oh yeah, it does absolutely nothing. Those experience piles. They. One thing I liked about the frog game. So the pesticide not required. I love that vampire survivor style game. Check it out if you haven't. I have a bunch of videos on it. It's great. Anyway, what I like about it is that everything scales with your level. So there's never a, a waste of, um, I don't know. There's, you don't feel like, oh, geez, I shouldn't have been fishing because it's not giving me any profit. Oh, what is this? Hello. Oh, nice. Let's try to kill this thing. Let's kill it. Come on. Come on. Die. Die. Go and die. Okay, cool. We got a prize. We got an artifact cube from that. Beautiful. So, but these luck, these experience things, they are worthless at this point in the game. Maybe they're good initially, but eh. Like, like when you're very starting. I feel like that should, like, scale. It needs to scale. Because then you feel like, ah, it's worthless. Why should I pick it up? It's w worth 111 points where I'm getting probably thousands needed for the next level. Let's see. Can we see this? Can we see how much is needed? No. It doesn't show us anywhere, I don't think. Anyway. So, I think th I think that would be a good um, addition to the game, is if that scaled with your level. Because uh, at the moment now, I don't care if there's a, a luck, an experience pile. I would just ignore it. I just went too, too high there. I actually wanted to ignore that one. Okay, here we go. What do we got? Dodge... Uh, loot range, strength, intelligence. Let's take this one. Int is going to be good for us, of course. Of course. Int. We have 48. That's quite a lot. That's nice. Right. Catnip. Elven flute. That's a lot of luck, actually. Wind fury. We don't have that right now. Um, yeah, we don't have anything windy. Let's take the elven flute. Why not? And then, yep. Take the boss here and keep on going to boss land or elite land. I like these elites. They're a little bit more challenging than the regular stuff, so it's more fun. Okay, are you uh, an elite? Hello, excuse me. Oh, kill you. And let's mow through these guys. Oh, hello. These are bigger enemies. I don't know where... Oh, here's one of the enemies. I also don't see a, um, a countdown thingy thingy. Oops, he's trying to just stay out of some of this stuff here. Dude, let's kill this dude. Yo. I don't want to get the, um, the potions too early because if I don't need them, we might as well leave them on the floor to heal later in case I have, like, a healing emergency, you know? So, just try to dodge whatever you can. There's a lot of stuff going on here. But I do appreciate the floor markings. I like that a lot better than just random shots, I think. It feels better. I'm, I'm used to playing MMOs. Like, I played Lost Ark a lot, and I played uh, WoW and, and other things um, where they kind of give you those, uh, those damage thingies. That's, that's pretty useful. I think I need knockback. This is kind of rough here. I think I need some knockback. Oh, that was experience. I was looking for a... I thought it was a potion. Okay, what do we got here? Knockback effect. Hmm. Should I get rid of something else? I feel like meteor does nothing. I haven't seen a meteor at all. Uh, let's try that. Let's get rid of meteor. Yeah, okay. I don't know what this is going to do, but it's usually pretty weak in the in the beginning, so let's just... Give it some time. Give it time and patience here. Countdown, five seconds. We're good, pretty much. I kind of was hoping to get a uh, health potion, but it's okay. We, we will find one in the next map. I'm not worried. All right, pick one artifact. Magnetic salvage. This is interesting. When you pick up the magnet, you get the scavenging bonus while auto-picking. Will not be less than 100%. So I'm guessing our scavenge is 68. I'm guessing when you get the magnet... When, like, it's, it drops on the ground. You get um, plus 68%, I think. I'm not sure, though. Uh, it's hard to tell. 
Anyway, Demon's Pendant crit rate. Oh, that's so sexy. Let's buy that. Let's take it. Take it, take it, take it. Okay, we also get to pick one here. XP bonus, SP skill damage, XP bonus, crit rate. Let's take this. What is our crit rate? Wow, it's like 21% now? That's good. That's nice. 21.8%. Good. And of course, crit damage. We have to also hopefully boost that a bit. Uh, all right, skill cooldown. Oh, that's nice. But damage minus. What do we got for damage? Plus 31%. It's not too bad. And we also get two affixes, two random ones. Do we want this one? 5% is is okay. We don't have anything. Let's see. What is our skill cooldown right now? Plus 0.98%. Oh, we need that one. Let's buy that one. Take it. And that's it. Okay. So now we have a pyramid. Interesting. Magic mirror. You wandered aimlessly on the ice field, searching for a glimmer of life. Suddenly, an abandoned tall tower loomed before you, piercing into the clouds like a needle stabbing the sky. The surface of the tower was covered with ice and snow, but you sensed an evil aura emanating from it, quickening your heartbeat and freezing your blood. Talia, the skill master, walks slowly from the direction of the tower. She tells you that there is a demon in the tower, and dealing with him would be full of risks. You approached the tower and found that its entrance was damaged and inside was black as night. You took out your torch and illuminated the tower's interior. To your surprise, there was no room inside the tower, only an endlessly spiraling staircase reaching up to the sky. You felt a mysterious force drawing you in, making you want to climb the stairwell and see what lay at the top of the tower. I, I'm intrigued by like Dark Souls style architecture. It's kind of crazy. You did not know how long or how high you had climbed. You only knew your body was exhausted beyond endurance by the time you finally reached the top of the tower, where a beautiful silver magic mirror greeted your eyes. Approaching it, you saw strange runes upon its surface that you could not decipher. Your reflection appeared in the mirror and its radiance captured your eyes, holding your gaze transfixed. The magic mirror suddenly spoke, its voice like a thousand people talking at once, yet only, yet like a single person, familiar yet strange. It said, I have never seen a soul like yours before. Would you like to make a deal with me? I can draw out part of your soul and fill it with my magic. Uh, we don't have strength 50, apparently. Let's accept the deal. Why not? Oh, you super skill, you want a clone? Oh, ho, ho, boy. Oh, that's fun. Let's clone the... Yeah. Yes. And we can replace something with this. I think we replaced the Crescent Strike. That really hasn't done much for us. Holy crap. Two spin... <laughs> The magic mirror began drawing out your soul. You felt your consciousness fading away until only the mirror's radiance remained before your eyes. You heard its laughter. Your soul will belong to me forever until it is utterly consumed. This is your fate. This is your choice. Upon awakening, you found yourself lying in the snow with no tower shadows around. Okay, now we can upgrade something. Dark fan of knives. That sounds interesting. Uh, but we have already... I think we're going to keep on doing stuff. Let's do the Reign of Lightsabers. That's a pretty powerful skill. I'm going to go up because we want to go toward these... Oh my god, we have another one? No, I don't want another one. Alright. Vena the Archmage 1. I wanted to try out this fireballs. In the deep of the forest, you set up camp at midnight, preparing to sleep. Suddenly, you hear a mighty roar echoing through the air. You look up and are astonished to see a colossal dragon in hot pursuit of a girl riding a broom. The girl skillfully dodges, almost teasing the dragon, who remains unable to lay a claw on her. It's a big dragon. Finally losing patience, the dragon unleashes a series of fireballs towards the girl in anger. The girl fails to evade the fireballs and is caught in the shockwave of the explosions, tumbling down from her broom. 
The girl continues to plummet through the air, and you quickly rush toward the direction of her fall. You approach the vicinity of the crash site and notice traces of destruction caused by frost magic. As you turn around, you spot the girl right behind you. She places a finger on her lips, signaling for you to remain silent. We can either stay quiet or loudly summon the dragon. Yeah. Hello. I'm Vina. I stole the dragon's guarded artifact, and he has been chasing me for days. I'm sorry for involving you, the girl whispered. Let's quietly hide in the forest until he leaves. The dragon hovered in the sky for a long time, gazing down at the land below. Oh, see? Now we, we, we ran out of artifacts, or something happened here. Uh, but there was no sign of any human activity. Its massive body glided through the air, its wings flapping, emitting a deep roar. After hours of searching, the dragon finally spread its wings and let out a distant roar as it began to fly away from the land. Its silhouette gradually disappeared from the horizon, leaving only a gust of powerful wind in its wake. Ah, we got a wizard hat! Okay, that is... Ooh! Very sexy. Look at that. Intelligence and a gold bonus. After confirming their safety, Vina handed you the charred wizard hat that had been burned by the dragon. That's so weird. She'd steal this thing, and we sort of saved her, and she'd give it to us. Like, if she really needed that, she could have given us some gold instead. I consider this as compensation for you. Unless she gave us her hat. Maybe she gave us her hat and not the artifact from the dragon. I hope we have the chance to meet again in the future, Vina said. And then she conjured a new broom with ice magic and flew away. All right, well, I'm afraid we're going to have to leave this journey on a cliffhanger and let you see those double fireballs in the next episode. So uh, that's all we have for today. A huge, uh, if I could ask you a huge, enormous favor, please click that like button and share the video with your friends and colleagues. Um, this is a cool new game. It's a, it's a lot. I'm sure that people will be really interested in this because there is much here to explore, much to like, you know, just try to synergize. It's kind of cool. But yeah, if you click that like button, it's like feeding the ducks and... Uh, you know, YouTube loves to eat the duck food. It just loves duck food. So, um, yeah, feed the ducks. Thank you for all your support. Really appreciate it. Um, and of course, if you want to join uh, my Patreon and help support me, do check out that link below in the description. But otherwise, that is all we have for today. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.